Hello, this is Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob, and today we'll be unboxing a MacBook Pro 2019. That's a late 2019, and it's the 13-inch version. So just a, a comparison, we have our 2015 version underneath it, so you can tell the difference in box size. Let's go ahead and open up the, uh, the MacBook Pro. Just a few specs here. Um, basically, it's a 13.3-inch it's got a 1.4 gigahertz, it's an i5, and even though it's rated at 1.4 gigahertz, it actually turbos up to 3.9 gigahertz. It's got the eight megs in the 256 gig SSD drive. It's uh, powered by an Intel, basically built in the uh, GPU is a graphics 645. As you'll see, it comes with two uh, USB-C ports. So let's go ahead and I'll just cut off the plastic here to make it easier. Let's go ahead and open this. So we've actually selected the same color as last time, which is silver. And it comes, let's take a quick look at the box first. So it comes with the USB-C power adapter. And underneath the bit of documentation that's in there, we have the actual power supply. It's actually quite large. So let's go ahead and open this. It's all things that are possible. It's quite easy to take out of the plastics. If you keep pulling, it just peels right off. And there you go. Now to note, there are two uh, ports on this one. If you go with a higher end one, you will end up with four ports. There's absolutely nothing on the other side. It seems there's still a, it looks to me like an audio jack. Didn't realize those would still be on there. And on the inside, take this off. It looks very similar to the older version, except for the fact it has one of these uh, nifty touchscreen, oh, it's already on, um, bars on there. So we've, we've selected this one with a French keyboard, in case you're wondering. And just to compare, I'd like to put this one here on the side for a minute. Let me go ahead and start setting this up. And this is our old one, 2015 one that we were using for demoing and testing. And I've got to get it out of the box here without damaging it. So it's a larger box. And this one obviously has seen a lot of uh, usage. It's a little dirty, but you can, just to compare. The Apple OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. Roughly you know the same how to size. Use VoiceOver, press the command key while you press touch ID. So. Oh, see? Here's an example of the Touch ID on top here versus the regular function keys. And you'll notice here also with this new unit, you can actually use a Touch ID, which is right here, which allows you to use your uh, thumbprint to uh, authenticate to the, the system. Well, a few things come to mind. First is you'll notice that the trackpad is much larger on the new unit. The other one is, as you can tell, they're using what they call the butterfly keys, which are a lot um, less pronounced. They don't stick out as much of the keyboard. And overall, they look very similar. Thanks for watching.